The site is in a landslide zone and the form of the building is about rocks sliding down the hillside and breaking apart so the angles of the roof are reflecting that. The entry of the house is quite dramatic and it is inserted through the broken apart forms. There is green on the walls which are the innards or anything that is cut in from the form and that's nature creeping through the gaps of rock. In this project I was the architect and the homeowner. We planned to build stage one which was a very small house that we could live in as we designed and built stage two. Part two of the house was designed using all passive house ideology and construction methods. Materials were carefully selected using New Zealand wool insulation, local product wherever we can find it. In fact, there is very little imported product and that was important to us to stay warm and be of low energy use in Queenstown's harsh climate. We wanted to feel like we are in the treetops. So when you're on the deck, you are in the treetops and as you move upstairs, you're in the trees. The angled windows follow the pitch of the roof and the cladding and create glimpses and frame slithers of a view. One of the best things that we can do sustainably is to keep building small. What do you need? This house is an example of what we can achieve using a smaller footprint and using less building materials. <laughs>